All right, I give up. I'm doing the milk. Oh, okay. God. Yeah, this one's fine. Is yeah. anyone else's hands tingling? Hey everybody, I'm Anthony Corbin and this is the Founders Brewing Hot Ones Challenge where we eat hot wings and ask even hotter questions. So today I'm joined by three of our local hot sauce experts who are either recruited by choice or they were tricked into coming today. So today I'm joined by Dave Engbers, uh, John G, and Marklin. Uh, you've seen them in our social content, you've seen them online, you've seen them around the brewery, but today we're going to force them to eat some hot wings. So um, how are we feeling about hot sauce? How do you guys... Do you like hot sauce? Do you like hot things? Mark, I think you need to answer this one yeah. first. Why no, don't you take this one? absolutely not. <laughs> I'll be, <laughs> I'm like, um, you know, it, it's good for me if I get medium salsa. That's pretty, you know, courageous of me. So we'll see how I do yeah. today. Um, I own a lot of hot sauces and use three of them. So we'll see how this compares to that kind of thing. So. I'm optimistically uh, nervous. <laughs> okay. The first one here, this is our, the hot one's the classic garlic Fresno edition. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Oh, here's just, uh. Oh. Mm, sashimi. So there's been a, a number of beers we've brewed over the years. We've been around for 25 years now, actually. So I'm sure you have your favorites in the tap room. I know Red's Rye, but. What do you think is the strangest or like the biggest flop of the beer that's gone through the tap room? I would vote the two that come to mind would be, or three that come to mind. Well, it's getting longer. The, <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, the Mint Man Stout, yep. which to me tastes like an Imperial Stout uh, after like immediately brushing your teeth with Colgate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the seaweed beer, what is it called? The whale ale. Whale, oh, whale ale. That's probably what you were gonna say. Yeah, the whale ale is probably my answer too. That was, uh, if you've ever wanted to like actively eat seaweed while swimming with a dolphin, that's kind of what it, that's what it When was that one? Like, I've never had that one. That was about nine or 10 years ago maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It was a while ago. I'd, that, that I'd was, say Untombed, which was that our was, uh, that's the one we brought up last night. Juice. <laughs> Yeah. Shout out to Jake Stilson, favorite beer of his. I mean, I think it's his favorite beer. Yeah, so. we really we tried. Yeah. To, oh, he loved that. We I didn't know anyone make, liked that beer. Was it, the beer in the style of the ancient Egyptians, which is probably why we progressed from then. <laughs> since then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're still yeah. not doing it. Technology is a wonderful thing, and discovering hops was a good thing. Too. Hops were a good thing. Yeah. So let's move on to the next wing and see where we go with this guy. All right, what's this one? This one Wait. is the Adobo Loco. Mm. Pineapple, cayenne, pepper. Mm -hmm. right. Small delicious. Are we going to talk about the Scoville units on these things? Do you have a billion, a billion notes? The first one was 1700 Scoville. This one comes in at 5500. Besides being a social content, what do you think is the most intriguing or interesting part of each of your respective positions here at Final Company? Mm -hmm. Tell us more about the intriguing part of co founding. Oh. <laughs> well, playing with bankruptcy for 12 years is <laughs> a lot of fun. You know, I think a lot of people have this idea that the owning a brewery is a lot of fun and it's all fun and games. We get to drink beer, but I mean, we are also janitors and staying up till four in the morning. And I mean, to me, that's what Founders is all about: is the persistence and not letting someone tell you what you know what your destiny is, and you know, getting getting the job done. There you go. I like that I'm often the first Founders team member that people get to talk to. So I like to. I mean, I carry that in a good way on my shoulders that I get to represent the company, so. I hope you make a good impression. Yeah. Uh, we'll, oh. <laughs> we'll see, after this. We'll, we'll see what happens yeah. here. Yeah. yeah, we'll see how many first we get. Uh, fantastic, so let's move on to this third wing. This one is the Burns and McCoy, 1,600, 16,600. Six, 16, okay, so this one took a jump up. We're going up there. Yeah. Oh. It's got a slow build, I'm good. I want that. Yeah, I got my own. All right. Thanks. It's got some heat to it. I'm getting that. Kind of smoky heat. Look at my cute little bites I'm taking. Yeah. yeah. It's the teeniest little. Oh, you can see that you are taking bites. Yeah, this is, yeah, no Photoshop. I'm taking it. <laughs> take yum, yum, good. Yum, yum, good. Hot. <laughs> so working in the beer industry is a lot of fun. Obviously, we get to do this type of thing. But when you approach people out in public, I know this happens to me a lot. If you work at Founders, that's really awesome. Tell me more about beer and blah, 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 blah. So. When was the last moment that you felt really lucky to work in this industry? Ooh. I think every day. Yeah, we have people come in literally probably every week that are traveling from, you know, all over the country, but internationally that are just super excited to be here. And it's hard to 
you know, feel that work is mundane when you get so much positivity, I think, for the most part, from everybody coming to see us. Yeah. Moving on to wing number four. This is another hot one. It's Los Calientes Verde, 36,000. What does that Verde mean? Uh, it means uh, it's fancy for green. Green. Yeah. All right. All right. Verde, huh? Mmm. This is like twice as hot as the last one. I can mm -hmm. taste the green. <laughs> oh, the, the green, green tastes exactly. great. Those beers help, or do they, does that help the heat? Does that Beer always camper? helps, Anthony. Yeah. yeah, it always helps. <laughs> yeah. It helps when uh, you're celebrating life. It helps when you're depressed. It helps when you lose a job. Going with Beer always things. helps. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm more thirsty right now. I know I haven't yeah. I haven't taken a drink yet because I, I thought maybe that would turn things for me I, if I, I didn't want to trigger anything. So when just, I sat down, I told myself I wouldn't be the first one to drink the milk. So you've all worked in the taproom setting before, so um, whether you're starting out there, helping out, however that is, but what's the craziest thing or the wildest moment that you've been a part of it inside the taproom? Well, my last day in the taproom was New Year's Eve, whatever year, maybe 2015. I look to you, don't sure. you remember for yeah. me? Um, and I just remember like looking up and it was just like a sea of happy people and like that was a great last night in the taproom for me because everyone was dancing and you know it was music and we just did the ball drop and all that stuff so yeah that's probably that, that's it for me um i think one of my favorite memories is during one of our six or seven expansions uh we expanded the tap room so they had put up some temporary walls i think so they could work around you know where they were expanding the offices and the adding the secondary bar area and myself and another gentleman that used to work here uh, we're closing the night that they were going to take down those walls. So after we cleaned everything up and we were having our shift beers, the guys asked us if we wanted to help them knock the wall down. So oh, cool. yeah, oh. for about a half hour, Giovanni and I got to swing a sledgehammer at some walls oh, and fun. vent some frustration. It was pretty awesome. That's cool. Yeah. That should be like in every closing shift. Yeah. Like that's yeah, part of your side work. work. Yeah, side work just, one. Yeah. Take a sledgehammer out. Sledgehammer. Yeah. I can't talk about that. Okay. <laughs> We've had... A, in the early days, we uh, we didn't play necessarily by most of the rules, yeah. so we'd stay out. You know, we would stay out. Brassworks, Brassworks, yeah. I mean, if we had customers, things were pretty tight back then, and so if uh, if we had customers there, we'd shut the blinds and lock the door, and we'd stay open until uh, sometimes till the sun came up. Yeah. So, all right, oh, let's gosh. move on here. Let's go with. Uh, Sauce Leopard, number five here. We're on five this already. 59,000. Mm. Okay, mm. we're jumping up a little bit. Oh, uh, this was Carolina Reaper. Mm. And these are the wings from the taproom, by the way. Yeah, so. yeah. They're, They're beautiful. Good. I love our wings. Yeah. Whew. I'm very proud to say that that's the first one where I'm like, yikes, I don't like this anymore. I was really trying to hold it together. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was just like, hey, yeah. this is a growing moment for me. Let Thanks, know. everyone. <laughs> Gosh. So, one more taproom question before we move on to some other beer stuff. Uh, taprooms, a lot of people come through, like you said. So, famous people or celebrities that you've seen come through that were your favorite, or who would you want to come to the taproom and have a beer with? Well, I was working one day and Dave Engbers came down. That was pretty cool. Oh, oh God. yeah. He's an asshole. <laughs> 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 I find it funny, what I usually like have a little giggle to myself about is when you are in the tap room and people don't know that you're the co-founder. That's always funny to me. I'm like, oh, because people uh, freak out sometimes about you or like Jer, you know, our brewmaster and it's just, that happens. just normal. It happens every day. Yeah. <laughs> but you, maybe you like that. I do like that. Yeah. Um, I was not here, but I know David Byrne from the Talking awesome. Heads. Yeah. Um, and then Rob uh, Cordroy from... Yeah. Comedian uh, actor. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To fun fact, David Byrne doesn't wear that huge suit all the time. So. Oh. oh, that's not... Yeah, he was same. wearing like... His shoulders are... Yeah. Yeah, his He's shoulders like are quite dude. slight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen a celebrity in the tap room. I'm trying to think. Is there a certain state professional and not fangirl, fanboy over anybody? Yeah. No. Because oh, yeah. everyone's treated equal at Founders, regardless of how much screen time you've got. We didn't got. make them wait in line for beers, so that's always yeah. nice. <laughs> I heard Brooke Kreischer went to Detroit Tap Room for a show. You know, oh. and comedian. Who? Yeah. Kept his shirt on, though. Oh. Who's that? Yeah, he's the comedian that has his shirt the machine, off all the time. Right? Yeah, the machine, right? I've seen him. Yeah, I don't, he was I don't here watch for that. <laughs> I don't watch that. I don't watch that kind of You haven't right clicked <laughs> on YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a rabbit hole you'll find yourself going yeah. down. <laughs> so, number Ooh. six, we got uh, Hot and Saucy. Collard and Ghost, 70,000. Ah, so John's cool. college nickname. <laughs> <laughs> Hot and saucy, you're Collard and Ghost. 
Mm-mm-mm. That's hot. This, like is, this is the first one that you're like, oh yeah, there's some hot sauce there. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting up there. It's so you mentioned great. Jeremy Cow's Make Ya Brewmaster. Mm-hmm. Um, if, if you were Jer, you know, what beer style are you making first? What's that beer style that Red Dry Jones into making? <laughs> I think John would always say Red Dry. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm surprised. Are you starting to feel it? Because I'm actually fine. Just the tip of my tongue is like very angry right now. I'm, I'm. As, a, as is my soul little, for having to do this. I'm not, I'm not bothered at all yet, which is scary because I think it might just come up and sneak up on me. That's why I was worried that they just my keep ass. on top of each other, but. Yeah, I'm fine. But it's, it's working. It's got the tingling. It's right working. Now. My lips, I forgot. Someone told me to wear chapstick. My lips are burning a little I bit. I have some for you, but I think it's awkward if I share my chapstick with you. It's not that awkward. I've right. known you for a long time. Is yeah, it? I know. 12 years is the chapstick sharing cut off, evidently. <laughs> Let's answer the question so we can move to the next wing, because we got... You don't, you don't want to let it linger and keep no, building? No, nope. I don't know how much I just, n- nose blowing you want us to like on We're going to get so emotional. Yeah. I would say if I was Jer, um, I too love hoppy beers, but what I like about Jer is that he's open to, like, he does his thing, but is also open to... Um, a, a lot of feedback. A lot of people want to give him suggestions, and yep. that's what I appreciate that he takes it all with a, a smile on his face. Yeah, I like doing fun well, to your face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, we're moving on here. Oh, yeah. Seven. Number seven. Pelogi hot sauce. We're at ninety-nine thousand. I'm about to cross that. Hundo, <laughs> you ready? <laughs> I don't think I'm ready. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Mm. My nose is officially starting to run. Yeah. 90,000 Scovilles, I guess, is That's the, the limit for your nose? <laughs> Whatever that number measures. Care for Kleenex? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is surprisingly effective. Dave? I'm all right. <laughs> I'm just waiting for this, like, to hit the breaking point. Uh, I'm going to get home and just, just I'm like going to get home things. and scream at my kids. <laughs> <laughs> scream affectionate love. Yeah, of course. I love you yes. so much. I'm so proud of you. Ah. <laughs> I feel so, like that you're counting that for me. That's it's like a no, nibble? no one's, no one. Hey, you said bite? I had to try it. Yeah. 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 It's like what Just, a goldfish would do. Uh, I'm crackers? still participating. <laughs> All right. Is so there <laughs> on, on hot ones? They have a reoccurring segment called "Explain That Gram." So I pulled some interesting photos <laughs> oh. from three of you that will show. Do you uh, have an Instagram? So Mark Lynn, explain what's going on with the, with okay. the squirrels. Okay. So this was um, at the peak of our stay-at-home order. I do want to share that, but. Uh, so this was a hobby that I t- took to liking, I guess. Um, I really enjoy feeding the critters in my yard, so I just w- bought a lot of furniture and <laughs> accessories for dolls and um, fed the squirrels and took photos of them, and Made that's what tent. brought me joy. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a, that could be a Vander Holly squirrel or... Um, a Vander Holly squirrel? Yeah, it's one of their names, and President <laughs> Taft. Is he Vanders- than the other they have, yeah, yeah. The they yeah. most have passed because their lives are pretty short. But sorry, um, who knows? Vander so. Vander Holly is he Dutch? Holy. Dutch, Dutch squirrel? Holly. Instead squirrel? of Vander Hollyfield. And what what oh. about this tent? Right. What's going on with the tent? Well, that's actually for a cat. Thanks for asking. But the squirrels would go in there and eat. Did they currently. actually? Oh, did you bait mm-hmm. them with food, or did they ever? Yeah. Is that a raised bed sign. garden? Is this, is this a gardening? Table. Table? No, that's a picnic table. Oh. Okay. For, for squirrels. For squirrels. For squirrels. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Your turn, John. Oh. Uh, my photo is uh, we have partnered, a uh, longtime partner with Ferris Coffee and Nut, uh, who does our coffee for a number of beers, like Breakfast Out. Uh, and as one of their kind of thank yous, I think it's in December, they usually do a Founders and Ferris, like, friendly competition with bowling. And uh, I happen to bowl regularly, so I was asked to participate. And I think we won all three years that we've done it and they've actually made a belt so it's a championship belt much like in wrestling so all of us on the founders team took some some photos to humbly brag about our championship so it, that's that's what that's i've never seen you what's wear that your, belt what's your team name your bowling team name well, i think it was just founders but when i bought oh, it used to be the ohio blue tips because they strike anywhere oh. Nice. Uh, uh, oh. There you go. Yeah. Is anyone else's <laughs> forearms blood? getting hot? I feel like my forearms are hot right now. Dave, what do you got going on in there? So that's a picture of me and Rich Michaels, our first brewer. Um, this is before we were even legally brewing in that facility. Okay. Actually, we weren't brewing yet because I'm standing in a kiddie pool 
purchased at uh, Meyer Thrifty Acres, local retailer. Um, <laughs> and a, uh, there's a little bottle of degreaser. So we had, we were putting in our first grain auger, uh, you know, connecting the grain mill to our brew kettle. And it came uh, just, you know, soaked in grease. And so we had to get all the grease off of it. So I think that might be, uh, it might even be Pine Sol to plug another good uh, customer of ours. Um, and yeah, we had to have a little kiddie pool and we were trying to get all the grease off of it so we could brew the next day. Ooh. Ah. So this is a good setting to move into our next wing. Why? Uh, well, <laughs> it's called the Bomb. Uh, this one is supposed to be the uh, most flavorful, I hear. Oh, flavorful uh. or? I don't know. I'm just trying to be so nice before we all bite in. Probably similar to like honey barbecue is what I. Yeah, think. I think so. it's probably. Yeah. Thirty-five thousand six hundred. Uh, what? These aren't even real numbers anymore. Wait. Hmm. What was the number? One thirty-five six hundred. One thirty-five six hundred. Okay. Oh. That's oh. six hundred. <laughs> Holy cow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry to who's ever having to edit that audio. This is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. <clears throat> that, one wasn't, that one wasn't honey garlic or honey barbecue? I'm, I'm holding tough. Uh, I had like five bites of it. I know. That's good. You had more bites of that one than the last one. I like, I like that one. Are we just holding out like to see, is anyone drinking the milk today? <laughs> <laughs> Gross. The milk's up for grabs whenever you need it, but uh, there is something strong about not going to the milk. Actually, do I look like I'm extremely uncomfortable because it's the I'm extremely lighter. Are uncomfortable? Are you crying? <laughs> Who knows? Well, I'm almost always crying, but <laughs> you, you, you two would know. Yeah. That Everything makes me cry. Wing related. Are you going to ask us what makes us cry or would you like me to share it? <laughs> share it. Hot wings, obviously. Marching bands, craft shows. Uh, Long distance commercials. Any video about seeing your dog when you get to heaven. Uh, the intro of the notebook, not the end of the notebook. Yeah, sure. Right. Can't think of it. Together. Yeah, it's too scary. <coughs> Sorry. <Here. laughs> anyway. Uh, okay. Now, ask, now we're ask all fuming. Yeah, it's okay. I'll get to the next question. Um, so we all like to drink beer, but we don't drink only our beer. So, um, favorite brewery outside of Farmers Brewing Company? Uh, milk. They do a good job. <laughs> Vitamin D. <laughs> yeah. well, um, outside of Michigan. Outside of Founders, it could be outside of Michigan, wherever, wherever you like to drink. I think, you know, the, that's the interesting thing that, you know, the industry has changed so much over the last 25 years that, you know, um, I always tip my hat to like Sierra Nevada, Anchor Steam, some of the folks that were doing a lot of the heavy lifting, you know, that kind of inspired us to get into the industry. But there are, you know, there's so many great breweries now all over the place. Julie and makes it worse. <laughs> Julie makes it worse. <laughs> I'm starting to feel some heat. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. I'll go next so I can have a minute to myself. <laughs> go ahead. I'm just thinking about the notebook. That's I all. really like Oddside Ales, which is in Grand Haven. Um, they make fun beers, big beers, and it, Grand Haven in general is always a good time. Very dog friendly area, so you can Squirrel take friendly? Your, yeah, probably seen some squirrels. Huh. I've never tried to take a squirrel into Oddside, but. <laughs> If someone knows the answer to that, please yeah, come. If you want to reach out to us. Uh, if I can get a squirrel to yeah, get in my backpack and get in the car. But um, I really like the Mitten, which is here in Grand Rapids. Yeah. I also really appreciate a lot of the stuff that Sierra Nevada does. Uh, burial in uh, <laughs> what? that one city. Who? Asheville, Burial. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right. There's somebody will look it up. We'll link the burial website somewhere and get out. I'm <laughs> not expecting this to be my reaction. Like yeah. my body's like, let's laugh mm -hmm. and cry about this, and I'm not wiping this tear. So we're just yeah, clean napkin if you want to dab the eyes. Gonna deal with it. We got extra napkins. <sighs> but I want to say I've made it through eight wings, and I thought I'd make it through like two. So maybe yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great. This is so fast, good. So. You want to move on to the ninth one? Yes, please. Then, yeah, let's go. Well, I yeah, don't we want to probably, move on to it, but... Because this one was what, like 600,000? This one, it, <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't you might and, lose some guys. And 700. Bingo sauce, we're at 6,666. 600,000? 666. I don't know if that's oh, a coincidence. I see oh, what they did. I threw the yeah. devil in there. Yeah, yeah, that's what we need to do. Just, 
<laughs> well, it really tastes with the Elzebub. <laughs> it's got an aroma of Tim Burton. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, I think my mouth is just numb now. I'm seriously don't know how you're doing this. Right <laughs> now. As long as I'm exhaling, it's fine. So it just I think it just uh, builds on me. Yeah, I think it's just kind of. <coughs> oh boy. Um, so what we're all kind of bonding here. Some yeah. of us a little more emotional. <laughs> you're just gonna start doing trust falls in a little bit. It's gonna yeah. happen anyway. Um, so this is a good time maybe to like share like a, a deep dark secret that you might be hiding or that you want the internet to know about. I'm actually allergic to chicken wings. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a deep dark secret. Or just something just that something. people don't know people about. Don't know about you. Whatever. <coughs> Boy. Well, I don't know. You're not really left-handed. You've been pretending this whole time. <laughs> yeah. She likes the she yeah. likes the corner of the table. Gotcha. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, come back to me. I don't know. Deep dark secrets. I have no secrets. Yeah, I'm an I don't, open book. I would like to think I don't have any secrets. <laughs> now my hands are tingling. Well, we only got one left. Okay. Awesome. And it's tradition on oh, our Jesus. show. I forgot about this part. Oh, yeah. The last dab. <laughs> so we only got one bottle, so we'll pass it around. Put a little extra on the wing there if you want to. You know, put a little on the board. You can dab it on there. Uh, that was, I, that's a lot. That was, that was that's a, a lot. serious dab. Are we gonna, are we gonna we cheers this thing? Cheers, yeah. I don't know. It's been a, a good bit. ride. Is mm. anyone else's hands tingling? I All can't. right. So the last dab followed. We're at over Come two on. million on this one. So Yay! If I had to guess what paint thinner is like, that's what it's like. I'm excited because I think I'm it's like the active minutes on my heat. watch. Yeah. Like, Captain Humble over here, that's not bad, it's a little spicy. It's, my, it's not bad. My I left eye is dripping. A little sweat built up here, but. We made it through to the end. We got only one more question. Did so we make it? I don't know if we're done yet. Did we make uh, it? We're not done we're yet. But stand. You have to stand <laughs> up. No, if you could go back in time and give yourself a piece of advice, you know, what would that piece of advice be? <laughs> don't say yes to this. <laughs> <laughs> Knew that was coming. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> um, not to worry, things are going to work out in the long run. Um, don't worry, be happy. Yeah. Bobby, Bobby McFerrin. Bobby Darren? <laughs> Bobby McFerrin. Bobby McFerrin. Holy. All right, I give up. I'm doing the milk. Oh, yeah. Uh, I would say uh, trust your instincts. I think uh, when we opened the brewery, we didn't have any idea what we were doing and listened to our investors <laughs> and listened to outside influences. And then once we kind of had the, the nerve to stand up for ourselves, then the, the business got a lot easier. You're, that you're, might you're, be be you're beating up I a little beating. bit. I am beating. I am beating. I mean, I first drink of water there. <laughs> we're, all, we're all feeling it. The, I just, the great news is you made it through. Did we? Because we still <laughs> got to keep like functioning. <laughs> uh, the last one's the last one has fucking hot. Too. Yes. So, you made it through. I guess, you know, at this point, the celebrities plugged their show, so there's three cameras here. If you want to look in the camera, say something to the people. Come to Founders. Our wings are a lot more palatable. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. What do you got, Midge? The milk isn't helping. <laughs> yeah, come, come work at Founders. You can do fun stuff like this. Yeah. Like cry with your coworkers. Uh, yeah, come to Founders. Yeah, I'd say live your dream. You know, have fun. Carpe do dream. something. Do something you're passionate about. Get the tattoo. Get the dog. Try the beer. Try the wings. Oh. We did it. Excellent work. Uh, is it helping or no? Mm -mm. Well then. Uh, why would you drink that shit? Is it making it worse or just? It, it like helps initially, uh, but and then it goes back to sheer pain. 